Happy Thumbs Gaming. Big show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Free Play Level 13, The Secret Stairs for Lego Lord of the Rings. So here we are, you can see we got lots of work ahead of us. We need eight mini kits and uh, all three treasures and the blacksmith to leave off from our story mode walkthrough. As always, we uh, suggest you have all the story mode completed so you have all the characters needed from that, as well as somebody to grab the orange handles like Urukai, the Shagrat, or Berserker, or the Mithril Boxing Gloves, as well as somebody to destroy Mithril shiny silver objects such as Berserker's Bombs or the Mithril Fireworks. So... Uh, yeah, buddy. So we're just kind of cruising along here uh, in free play. It's a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about Frodo walking off into the distance as much. And we're just pulling everything down and stud horn it up as always. And I tell you what, with these multipliers in place, it sure is uh, a lot better and a lot faster earning them studs. That uh, 10 billion trophy slash achievement for the studs is not going to be that hard now that, uh, yeah. As of this recording, I just got the last red brick for multiplier, so I have all five of them. My multiplier is 3840, which is nice. In this video, it's only uh, like times eight, but uh, that's because I had not got it as of this recording of this video. So, Anyways, we're going to smash along with Gimli there on the left to actually get our first mini kit, and then we're going to switch to Legolas, and I go a little bit out of my way here. I didn't need to jump up here to hit this target, but uh, you can see the target up there on the high right. I'll target it here in a second. Boom. And you'll walk over here and you'll switch to Aragorn and follow the little trail as always. These are kind of getting a little repetitive at this point. But hey, we're almost to the end of the game, so I won't complain. Like it's one thing when you go and follow them, but when you have to do three each time, it's like, come on. Green, green, green. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Treasure? Look at that. There's two of them, and, you know, you know, Lego and its rule of three. Let's see here. We'll go ahead. This one was a little bit... I don't know why I had troubles here. It, it keeps leading me away and then back to... And, I'm, I mean, maybe this is what it does, but I ended up getting it anyways. And there you can see we got our flippers, so we can go do our little swimming now. We can join the uh, high school swim team. And we're going to advance up the stairs, but not too far. About halfway up, you'll see that there's a little kind of a deck... Off to the right, you're going to stop there with Sam and go ahead and grow a plant, which will then smash the rock and yield you a mini kit. Now we watch this crazy cutscene where all sorts of nonsense is happening. We're climbing up. And once we get to the top, you'll see that there's the first of five green plants that we'll have to destroy before we get to the end of the level. And we will show you where all five of them are. Pretty easy to find. Then we'll grab uh, Legolas or somebody with a bow and some hops, another elf perhaps, and jump up there and grab the handrails and slide on all the way over and grab that mini kit. Yeah, always save and continue here. You never know what's going to happen if you die or some glitch happens or something. It's always nice to have a nice little uh, fallback point. I actually even take it even further, and uh, after each level I pass, I back out of the game and save it to a jump drive, kind of like our uh, Medal of Honor exploit. And there you can see number two of five. And if you play Medal of Honor, you probably know what we're talking about. And if you don't, and you're trying to get the Platinum, I suggest you look up our Hardcore Mode Trophy slash Achievement. And there's number three at the top of the hill there, so we're making good ground on those. We'll go ahead and use Fro to do to get in there and uh, bust that up. You do not need to switch to Berserker. I just thought it'd be cool to blow everything up in a tiny little dark cave. And then we'll hop across, switch on over to Berserker. We actually need him now. And we'll switch to our bombs because we somehow got uh, out of sync there. And then we'll give a nice little tribute to uh, Gremlins here. We saw kind of a tribute to Goonies earlier in another level uh, with the, the, the organ and having to play the sounds and having the drawbridge drop. It was very Goonie-esque. This reminds me of Gremlins when the, uh, the granny has that little chair that goes up and down the stairs. May have nothing to do with that. Maybe some other reference, but uh, that's what it reminded me of, so... Once we get to the top, we'll go ahead and switch to Gimli and destroy that rock and build this crane over to the side here. And the crane will then dip down and yield us a precious treasure. Precious. Me precious. All right. There's some wooden armor. The moody armor, I guess it's called, huh? 
It looks rather woody to me. And then we'll switch to Golem, climb up top, smash everything in sight. And then drop it like it's hot. And we'll climb up in here, and you can see there's number four of five of the green flowers there. And, of course, we've got to switch to Sam to plant the flower, which will then give us the steps we need to build and then make our way up the hill. Again, this is all for the collectibles. If you guys are looking for uh, help on how to get through the level and we're not clear enough here, you can check out our story walkthroughs. Uh, just look for the level itself and find the trophy name and search for the trophy name and add HTG at the end to help rule out all the other people. And just as a little tip, if you use that in all your searches, you'll find all the Happy Thumbs videos a lot easier uh, without having to weed through it, assuming you want to find our videos. If you're looking for any videos, I guess a search is as good as a search. But when looking for Happy Thumbs, always add that HTG at the end. All right, so over here on the left, we're going to use Sam and dig up yet another flower. And this one will drop a mini kit right on our dome. Good thing we were wearing our hard hat. Who knows what would have happened otherwise. And before making your way all the way down the main hall, you'll sneak back on this left little cavern. We also picked this up over in the uh, story mode as well, which is why we will not see the blacksmith design back here. The old recipe is already in our uh, in our stash back at the, uh, you know, Hobbiton stash. We'll go ahead and switch on over to somebody who can pull awesome things. So we'll go ahead and show Urukai the light of day for a second here and grab the third treasure. So we knocked all three of those out fairly early here. Ooh, there's the giant spider. I have a friend, truth be told, that's so terrified of spiders, she doesn't even like saying the word spider. She actually refers to them as toes. Don't really know the origin of it. However, uh, she always refers to them as toes. Oh my gosh, that's a giant toe. Gonna get out of here. It's kind of funny. And then we'll switch on over to Gollum, climb up this wall with the quickness. Push this rack down on top, uh, allowing the hobbit hole access. Climb back up. Make sure you're using Frodo whenever you're around all these spiders. And if you do run at the spiders, they will drop a lot of studage. So. And we also grabbed that mini kit on our first playthrough as well. It's pretty hard to miss that one. It's hanging right in your face. All you have to do is do a jump kick or whatever and drop it down. And switch to Aragorn and smash these Morgul bricks through here. Because we, uh, we don't leave anything behind. And when you do, you actually find a little spot where Sam can dig. And this will allow him to build a fly, which now we can grab Gandalf and his orb on a stick. And make this thing fly. Sort of. Goal is to get it up there and attach it to that web. And it will be too heavy for the web. It'll drop down and drop a mini kit on you. It's raining kids. Hallelujah. It's raining many kids. And then we'll speed stud run through the end here, destroying all the bones. Build our getaway right out of here, our handrails. More spiders up top. We'll switch to. Uh, actually, we don't need to switch. Gandalf will light the way as well. So you don't have to be Frodo. I take that back from earlier. And somebody else pointed out too that uh, in the dark caves, we always use Frodo, but you could actually use Gandalf as well. All right, and here we are. We get trapped in this web. And there's the last little chase scene out the end here. And there's three items we need to get. So stay to the right as soon as you start. And then immediately switch to the left, and then immediately back to the right. As you can see, we missed some studs along the way, but I think the uh, the mini kit is probably a little bit more important than a purple stud at this point. So we got all of them. As you saw, that was 10 of 10. You saw that we uh, also got all three treasures, and we showed you where the blacksmith design recipe was off on that left tunnel there. So we knocked it all out with the quickness look at that we're under 10 minutes now we're just gonna watch a silly cutscene and check the totals out and then say our farewells as always oh look at that a nice little hobbit sentimental moment and that dude spying on us I still don't understand like I need to go back and like watch the movie or something cuz that dude totally like pins Sam down like he's should be calling rape or something and and then all of a sudden he gets out and then they're friends like I don't understand like what's going on there why didn't he allow I don't know. Maybe you guys know. Maybe you can tell me in the comments below. All right, you saw all 10 mini kits stack up there, all three treasures. Get a couple bricks. It's always nice for them bricks since we got to do all that mithril foraging in Bree, the blacksmith. 
We're actually getting uh, pretty well through our list of blacksmith designs, so that's nice. And that'll go ahead and wrap up Lego Lord of the Rings Level 13, The Secret Stairs Free Play. And as you just saw, we got all 10 mini kits, all three treasures. And for the third time, the blacksmith design as well. So hopefully we were helpful and maybe a slight bit entertaining along the way. And feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Head on over to Facebook and Twitter to stay up to what's going on with us. And as always, until next time, soil.